The Syrian army and its allies are in the final stages of recapturing Aleppo after a sudden advance that has pushed rebels to the brink of collapse. The Sheikh Said district had fallen to the army in fighting overnight on Sunday night and troops were clashing with insurgents in the Firdaus district. The bombardment of rebel areas had continued non-stop overnight in advance to those districts who would take the army into the heart of the area held by the rebels. One of Syria's official news agency reported that after the army had taken control of the district, more than 3,500 people left Sheikh Saeed on Monday. Meanwhile, France accuses Russia of constantly lying over its role in the Syrian conflict. C'est un échec, et vraiment un échec. Mais pourquoi c'est un échec Parce que il y a un double langage russe, et un double langage et, et une forme de, de mensonge permanent. D'un côté, on dit on négocie, on négocie, et on va arriver à cesser le feu. Puis de l'autre, on continue la guerre. Et cette guerre, c'est la guerre totale. C'est la, la volonté de sauver le régime de Bachar el-Assad et de faire tomber Alep. Mais au, à quel prix À quel prix humanitaire Et c'est un échec. Our correspondent Daniele Pagani now joins us on the broadcast for more on that. Daniele, it is becoming increasingly clear that the Syrian government will now take a complete control of Aleppo in uh, the next, if not hours, then weeks. Uh, is this the beginning of the end when it comes to Aleppo? Well, undeniably, the victory in Aleppo is a very important victory for the regime of Bashar al-Assad. But I don't think that this will be the beginning of the end. We have to remember that uh, several hardline Islamist organizations, among which the Islamic State, for instance, still control large part of Syria, like the capital city of Raqqa and the territory southern to Raqqa. And the Syrian regular army is not a strong army right now. Hadn't it been for the Russian constant bombings on the city of Aleppo, probably the government Syrian forces would have not been able and capable to win the battle in Aleppo. So, yes, it is a very important victory for the regime of Bashar al-Assad, especially as a symbol. He finally broke the rebels uh, uh, back, as he uh, always used to say. But uh, it is really unlikely that he will be able to win, the to, 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 for, to achieve a total victory in the Syrian civil war. Right, Daniele, over the last few months, we've had images of total destruction in uh, eastern Aleppo. What's the situation on ground at the moment like? Unfortunately, I think that the word that can describe the situation of eastern Aleppo right now is a catastrophe. It's a humanitarian catastrophe because uh, Russia bombed uh, relentlessly the eastern part of Aleppo, the rebel-held areas, uh, for months. Uh, and many of the buildings are destroyed. There is a lack of food. There is a shortage of water. There is a shortage of medical facilities. So it's uh, more than a city. We can say that, yes, victory came, but the price is to deliver to history a part of the city which is more of a pile of rubble than the city with a lot of civilians still trapped within the rebel held areas the last very small rebel held areas i was just coming to that daniele what is the situation like of the civilians who are still there in eastern aleppo Again, I have to say that the word is the same, it's a catastrophe. We have to imagine that uh, the part uh, where the rebels uh, were resisting for the last month uh, is a minor part of the city, but is a densely populated area. It uh, hosts uh, more or less 100,000 uh, uh, civilians who have been suffering uh, bombings, months of heavy bombings with very little access to medical facilities, food and water and they are now trying to escape and and the problem is that right now the syrian government forces and some iran-backed militias are entering the city and the major worrying is that uh, especially these iranian-backed uh, um, paramilitary groups will not really make a clear distinction between who was a rebel or who wasn't and uh, random killings are one of the problems that probably the civilians on top of whatever they have already been suffering they will suffer right now from now onwards. All right, leaving it there for the moment, Daniele. Thank you very much, though, for getting us up to speed with the situation on ground there over the next hours, perhaps over the next few days. Syrian government will gain complete control of Aleppo, bringing an end and, in fact, a turning point in the civil war. On that note, we're taking a very short break. On the other side, the latest fad selfie to see an unborn baby. Stay tuned for that report in just a bit.